about arm training today. We just finished up with a great tricep and bicep workout, so the arms are nice and pumped, stimulated a lot of muscle fibers. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips, insight, on some of the things that you can do on your own to get those arms to grow and get the development that you want. Um, in my opinion, my arms are one of my better body parts. Um, it's one of those features that I always get questions, comments about, so I'm gonna share with you some of my personal experience and things that I've learned throughout the years. Uh, when I started training my arms, I would hit them multiple times throughout the weeks, about three times. I was doing a ton of sets, and basically I was just overtraining them. And that's one of the things that I've realized after talking to several people, training my own clients, is that people just do way too much for them. They're a small muscle group, so they're always going to get a little bit of stimulation when you're working the bigger body parts, like the back, chest shoulders, things like that. So you really don't need to do a whole lot. You definitely need to keep the intensity there, uh, but I would say once a week is really all you need. Generally, when I train arms, I'll do maybe three exercises, four sets. Real short, real sweet, in and out. Uh, as a bodybuilder, we all wanna keep things in proportion. Obviously, we have certain muscle groups that respond a little bit better than others. With me, my arms, just one of those things. Like I said, everybody wants bigger arms. It's one of those groups when you're on stage, it accentuates every pose, just kind of makes you stand out a little bit better. If you back off some of that training, uh, hit them hard, hit them intense,